This is a 25 Pierce Arrow Series 80. This is their small car. It was to help them. They were hurting a little bit by then. But uh, size wise, it's still a good size car. It's a lot larger than a Model A and such. It's a six cylinder, 70 horsepower. But the price on this car was $28.95 new. You could buy 10 Model T's for that same amount of money. For their smaller, cheaper car, it was still rather pricey. It's uh, all aluminum body. From here back, it's all aluminum, all wood. It's still the original wood in this car. It's an older restoration, but uh, it's a real nice, smooth riding car. Take it out and drive 50, 55 all day long. I'll see if she'll fire up now. side. As I said, for a small car, it's still a pretty good size. The 130 inch wheelbase. So I, I still don't turn very sharp. They're a tulip design in them. I've heard some people say that this was more meant, meant more for the women, the smaller car. But uh, these pilot rays, I have them uh, temporarily disconnected, but they turn with the wheels. So you go around the corner and they'll turn. So uh, it's just a nice little option. And it says Pierce Arrow, Buffalo, New York, right on top. And this was the first year of the uh, four-wheel brakes for Pierce Arrow. It, uh, for, I've been told there's 17 or a left of these runabouts left of the three years of production is all they made this car. 25, 6, 7. 28, they came out with what's called a Series 81, had a few refinements. And then 29, they had the straight eights. It's the first year of a straight eight for Pierce Arrow. But like, it, there's a lot of aluminum in this body. The engines, aluminum, the heads, aluminum. They, they were known for that. They even made one car, a show car, out of cast aluminum, the fenders and everything were. Aluminum, uh, Alcoa helped finance it, and that car is on display over in Germany right now. Driving light, a stoplight. And reverse. The uh, these are the original panels and the carpet. 
in the trunk of this car. So for being 85 years old, they've held up extremely well. It's original wood in this car. I ran across it in uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. And there was a fellow in Chicago that had it. So I just had him bring it home, picked it up down in Chicago.